Mazda emailed me recently saying, hey Mike, we love your content. Can you take some photos of our new car? I said, hey Mazda, thanks for reaching out. Yes, I can. And that's what you're about to watch in this video, a full behind the scenes video of me shooting content for Mazda's new MX-30 electric car. So I picked up my friend, we headed into the city, we had a laugh, we made some content, and that is everything you're about to watch in this video. Here is me taking some professional automotive car commercial type photos. I think that makes sense. Let's do it. First impressions of the car? Pete. So comfortable. These seats are like a sponge. Another one of my favourite streets in London, Lloyd's Avenue I think it's called, or Lloyd's Ave. We've got the gherkin just peeping up over the, over the old buildings. That's why I like the street so much. You've got the old buildings, that typical London architecture with some modern gherkin building in the background. So I'm going to kind of position the, the car in the middle of the road a little bit and then shoot some shots of both the car and the gherkin. I need an f-stop that's kind of going to focus for both. Got a pop of light. Oh, I need to move the car, don't I? We have to be quick here because technically I am blocking the road. So, so far, ISO 200. I was saying to Pete a minute ago, I don't actually like ISO 100 because I feel like it's too contrasty. And then we're probably at like 35, 30 mil. Literally first go, I absolutely love that photo. That's so sick. Let's get one portrait as well. So you think that, Pete? So the brief that Mazda gave me was get some normal lifestyle shots and kind of have fun with it. They were quite lenient with what they asked for. They just said, take the car into the city of London and do what you can. So along with those main few shots that I'm definitely happy with that you've just seen on screen, they asked me to post on Instagram as well. Can you post the Mazda on your feed? Now I might actually post some of these hero shots, some of the just the car in the city, just regular shots. But I brought along Pete Jobson as well, who is going to get some portraits of me. So if I wanted to post any photos of myself, then I have that option. Pete's got his 70 to 200 on, get that lovely compression in the bag get some little little poser roonies let's put the car back in the middle of the road and um, do some modeling I think we're good, I think we've done it. I'm happy with those shots, they're sick. Yeah, so car's charging, it's time for us to refuel, and then by that point it's probably gonna be dark, and we'll see what we can do when lights are out. Well, technically, lights are on in the city. No, not impressed. Okay, right, get a medium caramel cappuccino, please. I have no idea. What is it? <laughs> Shed looking thing. What are you taking a photo of? The green looks nice, but I'm not sure about. I, I'm still not capturing it. I wish I had my camera with it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What are you trying to do? Pete does this thing where he finds objects that no one cares about and then he starts to take photos of them some for some reason it's really nice what is really nice oh, oh. actually that looks okay here this frame here yeah. okay i kind of get it i, I kind of get it i'm gonna take one on my camera refueled 
What did you get? Pumpkin spice latte? Pumpkin spice. I just got a black coffee because I'm hard. Oh, I'll be honest, I got a caramel cappuccino. <laughs> yeah, but... Cool, let's go take some photos. We found a nice little spot opposite Canary Wharf where all the skyscrapers are, which literally every car photographer in London has been to, but I've not been there before. So I've been reading a book recently about creativity and the key point of the book is to just steal other people's ideas because you end up putting your own creative spin on it anyway. Mm. I'm just stealing this location idea. It's not reinvent the wheel, it's just going copy everyone else. That hates his life. The camera guy with like 17 different things on his shoulder. I hate that about camera gear. If I have more than a microphone and one lens, I'm just like, ah, overwhelmed. It's like carpool karaoke. Nine what? miles. Is it nine miles? What should we talk about? What is your opinion on... Oh, they're long, look. <laughs> my opinion is, I don't think... So like, Johnny Depp? Like, bigger than my head. Oh, about seven grand. Why? You've got loads Why? of little, like... Just felt really nice. Especially. I've got I've got a good question. Very light. It, the landscape's always there. That's why it's never important. I do think that there should be, much like the Paralympics. Yeah. Look at this. We pulled up to this unbelievable spot with Canary Wharf in the background. I think we missed sunset by like 10, 15 minutes here because of, well, London traffic. When the sun is completely gone and the Canary Wharf lights up, this is still gonna produce some nice photos. Yes, yeah, so we need to figure out where to put the car. I'm thinking just lob it down here somewhere. But this is what a spot this is. So let's, let's, uh, let's start shooting some pics. This is perfect. <laughs> Why is it automatically locked? Get that Mazda logo looking sweet. This is clean, man. Let's get some portraits for the gram. There's such a subtle orange glow in the distance. The car keeps automatically locking and turning off, which is a great safety feature. But, oh my days. This 35 is just the lens, isn't it? Just trying to get a nice focus on this Mazda detail. And then like that one in focus and then one with bokeh. Fantastic. I think I've got a couple of hero shots in the bag. Maybe just some of me posing like an influencer. All right, now we lost a lot of light very quickly, so the tripod's out. We're shooting at like a two or three second shutter speed. I'm having to stand super still, so I'm not blurry a little bit. It's really difficult to do. But we've got a couple of wide shots, a couple of portrait shots, so if Mazda want to use Instagram, you know, long portrait version of it. I think we got all the content we needed. The lights keep going on and off, which is a great safety feature, but it's annoying when you're trying to take photos of it. This is a beautiful little setup. The Canary Wharf looking great. I think we're done. I think we're done. We're done? Done. done. That's a wrap. I hope everyone liked this little behind the scenes vlog. I had so much fun in the city of London with Mazda's MX-30. So a big thanks to Mazda for loaning me the car. I hope you enjoyed the photo as well. I know you enjoyed the photos. You emailed me saying, we love the photos. So it's always positive to know that you delivered on the brief you were given. I wanna give a quick shout out to my friend, Pete Jobson for helping me out, taking photos of me, helping me film this video. Just being there as a helping hand, second pair of hands on the shoot. So that's much appreciated. Everyone go check out Pete Jobson's work. He's an amazing photographer. And if you are interested in how I I edited some of these photos. They are edited with my presets, probably from the Minimal and Moody 2.0 preset pack, which is how I've been editing most of my photos recently. So presets available on my website. Click subscribe because we're on a road to 100,000 subscribers. If you didn't know that already, I am going to make that happen. And to make that happen, I need you to click that big red button on screen. So I'm going to just give you two or three seconds to please just tap subscribe. That's massively appreciated. And there is no and. That's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>